So Android Authority got an exclusive about a new affordable device launching called the CoolPad Defiant. Launched by who? T-Mobile. Now there are plenty of options out there for those of you who want to buy a new device and not break the bank. And we have our list of favorites. But new ones keep showing up every day. And this week we learned of a new contender on the block coming from T-Mobile. A reputable source has given us intel on what seems to be Magenta's next budget handset, the CoolPad Defiant. We have no details on pricing or availability, but its specs suggest a very low cost option. The Defiant comes with Android 7.0, a 1.4 gigahertz quad-core processor, an Adreno 308 GPU, one gigabyte of RAM, eight gigabytes of internal storage, and a five inch 8054 by 480 screen, a five megapixel camera, and a two megapixel front shooter, and a 2450 milliamp hour battery. Now that is nothing to write home about, but this is a phone that could get the job done for the casual user. It will also likely be super cheap. Is it good enough for your needs? Well, probably not for all you power users, but for your Android geeks out there, many of you are gonna love the Samsung Galaxy S8, and you may have heard rumblings about a red tint issue on the display, and Consumer Reports has chimed in. About a week ago, we reported that some Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus units have red tints around the screen. Consumer Reports have recently tested eight units of Samsung's flagship smartphones, four of each model, and provided some additional information regarding the topic. Four of the eight devices tested apparently have a reddish screen when compared to other models. Consumer Reports compared two devices, one with a red tint and the other without, side by side, while displaying the same image. The conclusion is that the difference between the two is visible, but as the, quote, red tinge photo looked appealing and natural, it's not really that big of a deal. Samsung has already released a statement on the issue saying that it's just a matter of color collaboration that can be adjusted manually. To do so, just open the settings menu on your device, tap on display, and then screen mode. The tech giant added that it will release a software update as early as this week that will provide users with an enhanced ability to adjust the color setting to their liking. Well, it turns out that T-Mobile is not the only unlikely new player in the hardware scene. Spotify is trying to launch a new wearable. It looks like the popular streaming service Spotify wants to get into the hardware market. A recently posted job listing for the company confirmed that it's looking to hire a quote, senior project manager of hardware, with the description stating that the person will lead Spotify's efforts to deliver hardware directly from Spotify to existing and new customers. The job listing adds that Spotify wants to release, quote, a category defining product akin to Pebble Watch, Amazon Echo, and Snap Spectacles, unquote. Zat's Not Funny, which first reported in the job listing, adds that, quote, a trusted source claims Spotify wants to release a wearable hardware product, but specifics were not mentioned. Based on the job listing, it looks like Spotify wants to jumpstart a whole new product category for its first hardware launch. One possibility is that the company could release headphones that would directly connect to the music streaming service without the need for a smartphone or a smartwatch app. And if that wasn't enough when it comes to unexpected hardware innovations, let's talk about Samsung's effort to create a truly bezel-less display, including bezel-less top and bottom. According to ET News, Samsung Display and LG Display are looking for ways to create phones that are truly bezel-less and all screen by curving all sides and eliminating even the top and bottom bezels. However, the same source reports that there are technical difficulties in the lamination process, and that's why it's likely we won't see the displays until next year. The trouble is, however, even when a display is curved on all four sides, the four corners are essentially useless. The current lamination process won't let these corners register your touch. Samsung and LG are both reportedly looking for ways to solve this issue, with Samsung tentatively aiming to unveil an edge display with four curves as early as next year. While the Galaxy S8 Duo did a remarkable good job in minimizing bezels, hitting a screen to body ratio of around 83%, the general consensus is that with a screen that's curved on both sides as well as the top and bottom, that number could be even higher. ET News seems to think that it could be as high as 98%, if not higher. 